All right, infusing two different creatures together and breeding. How does it work and what can you do? In this video, I'll be going over everything as simple as possible. I'll show you how to do it, where to find everything and how it works for you guys to follow. And uh, I'm going to make it very, very simple. So you can basically infuse two different animals to create something like this in the background. Or you can infuse two of the same animal to get an even better of that certain animal you are trying to create. The background one is actually a mix of a fox and a bird, which is pretty cool. And I managed to get this thing. So keep watching and I'll explain everything. So, first things first, we're going to need to build the breeding pen. You can find this at around level 19. So, if you scroll down to level 19, you will get the breeding farm. You want to go ahead and put that down in your base. Next up, what you want to do is actually build a couple of egg incubators. Now, these can also be unlocked quite early in the game at around level 7. So, make sure you build a couple of these around the farm. I've only built two, but you can build as many as you like. Next up, you are going to need a male and a female animal to breed in your farm. Now, I've actually went ahead and went to the fox parks because I'm actually trying to build a very, very good attack fox park to carry with me everywhere and use as a flamethrower. So that's what I will be going for. You can use any animal that you like and really want to get a good roll on them. Okay, so love is blossoming between the two pals. Not enough cake. So, to make it go better and to actually let them hatch uh, the eggs, we're going to need to make cake. Now, cake is a bit of a confusing one, but I'll make sure to explain that as easy as possible. Alright, so, to make cake, we're going to need a cooking pot. You can unlock the cooking pot at around level 17. Okay, so you want to make one of those. Now, once you go inside here, you're going to unlock the recipe for cake. You're going to need flour, red berries, milk, egg, and honey. So to make flour, we're actually going to need one of these right over here, a wheat plantation. You can go ahead and put that in your base and right next to it, you're going to also want to make one of these, a mill. Now this will use the wheat to create flour. Next up is red berries. Red berries you can pretty much find anywhere around the world or you can build one of these. This is your ranch. Now in the ranch, any animal that does uh, planting or anything will be able to find you a bunch of berries. Okay, they will constantly find you berries. Next up is milk, egg and honey. Now for milk, you want to have one of these guys right here in your base, the cows. Now, the cows will automatically create you honey in the base, okay? You can see I have 19 uh, uh, milk right here. Eggs, obviously, you're going to need the chickens. And obviously, for the honey, which is the most difficult one to find, you can basically kill a certain animal, which I'll show you where to find them now, or you can bring one to your base and they will make honey for you. So, first things first, the chicken will make you eggs or you can kill them for eggs and you can find them in this part of the map. Next up is the mozzarella or the cow can be found in this part of the map. Now, you can go ahead and kill them or bring them back to your base for milk. And lastly, the bee guard, this little guy right here, you can kill him for honey or bring them back to your base and they will make honey for you. But be careful be getting or capturing these guys or killing them because they have a, um, a special skill or the way that they attack is they actually follow you and blow up and they will kill you instantly. So be careful. You can find them in this part of the map. Now, once you have gotten all the uh, ingredients to make uh, cake, you want to go ahead and start making cake because it takes a long, long time to make cake. So for example, if you're going to make it on your own, Look at how slow that is. So, I recommend actually bringing one of these guys to your base. They are pretty good, the R socks, because they have level 2 kindling. And um, that's actually pretty damn good for your... Uh, to make cake pretty quickly. But I'll be using other characters. I'll be using my Yormontide Igni because he has level 4. But you're not going to get this guy anytime soon. Especially if you're mid to early game because he is pretty damn high level. Anyway, the R socks can be found in this part of the map. Okay, so once you have your cake ready, what you want to do is go over to the chest. This will automatically come with the breeding pen and go ahead and put some cakes in there. And there you see that. 
Now they will start making the eggs. So you want to collect the eggs when they started to create them. And now you can go ahead and put them in the egg incubators. Now I've actually changed the setting. Mine is going to automatically just instantly create the eggs. But for you, if you haven't changed that setting, there will be a timer. Now that timer can be decreased by you putting a fire next to that um, ne next to the eggs. You can do that by just simply making a campfire. If I can just quickly find them. Uh, okay, campfire. Place one of these down and they will basically half the time for the incubation process. Alright, so once you are done and ready to incubate the egg, you can go ahead and hatch the egg. Alright, and there we go. We have a new fox. Now, what we can do is basically just throw these guys down and uh, we can see what traits that we have unlocked with the brand new pets. So I didn't actually get anything good for this fox, so I will keep going and keep trying to get something decent. But that is how your breeding pen works. That is how you breed different animals. Now, uh, go ahead and just try it out exactly how you guys want. Um, obviously, just keep an eye out on what perks and what traits that you do get on your pals. You can go ahead and do that by just basically going into your pals like this in your party and uh, just click on them and you can see what uh, traits they have here in their passive skills. This one, the work speed is plus 10, the defense is minus 10, uh, temp to decrease income and earth damage. You can get pretty good stats on these, especially with their gold skills. Now, their gold skills, um, basically, if you don't know what it looks like, uh, I'll show you right now. So, for example, this fox park actually has Lucky, which is pretty damn good. The work speed is plus 15% and their attack is by plus 15, which is not too bad. So, go ahead and keep an eye out on those passive skills. For the first fusion we're going to be going after is the Van Wyam Crisp, because it's one of the easiest ones you can do right now, or for me anyway. So, what we're going to do, actually, is uh, put in a female van ryan okay and then we're gonna put in a male fox cycle okay now those two together will make a van ryan sickle and uh, it is pretty damn cool so we're gonna go throw one of those in there like that and then we need to grab that van ryan and uh let me just quickly go grab him okay so just like that now you will see that them two are breeding all right so we have those two creatures even though it's a bit weird so we have the fox and we have the flying animal right there. All right, so the egg is finally finished and we can quickly grab that. It's going to be a large frozen egg. Now, once we put that into the incubator and quickly incubate that and hatch it, we should get a Van Rhyme Crist. Now, there's always going to be guaranteed to get one of these if you do hatch them by using those two animals. But I'll quickly just show you what these guys look like. They are pretty damn cool. I uh, definitely one of the uh, better looking animals in this game because it is a very very rare creature uh, I'll quickly show you what that looks like right now uh, let me just slap these guys right there and there you go how cool is that creature right there that is definitely something special all right so this is the flying van rhyme Christ. it is a pretty damn cool uh, animal to get it is really really nice uh, this one is pretty cool down there too I got that from a huge damp egg which I found in the wild but this one it is definitely a nice one to have and I'll show you exactly the special traits about this and I'll show you how to get the right animals to get it this one is definitely not the best one I'll definitely try to get something better but it has level 3 transporting and level 2 cooling which is nice anyway so the two creatures that you do need to get them is the van rim and he can be found pretty much in a lot of places, actually. And, uh, yeah. And the next one that we need is this little guy right here. Let me just quickly find it. You need this one right here, the Foxicle. And he can be found only in one part of the game. And it's right up here. Yeah, it's definitely a difficult one to get. These guys are very high level. And that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to put up a screenshot right now of the types of creatures that you can uh, infuse together. Now, these aren't guaranteed. These are just what people think. Um, but go ahead and try them out if you wish to. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.